Hey guys, <clears throat> hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully you're having a nice start of the summer. Summer just officially, legally just started. Um, I'm Dr. Anderson, if you guys don't know me. I've been gone this past year, I've been on sabbatical, so I haven't been, wasn't around for all the craziness of the COVID shutdown, etc. Technically I'm still on my sabbatical for another couple months and I come back right at the end of summer. So if you have a logistical question, still talk to Dr. Patch for the next uh, couple months. But um, I just want to let you know that I'm super excited for the fall. Even though I'm not officially back, I've been thinking about all kinds of cool ways. I actually started before the last couple months. This whole year I've been thinking about ways to reinvigorate my teaching and how I can do um, uh, education and help you guys out in more more uh, improved ways, more, more dynamic ways. So um, I'm really excited for the fall semester. Um, what I just want to reach out to you today though and say, there's been some confusion. Uh, there's been some, some uh, rumors passed around. I just want to let you know that for um, my uh, classes that we're talking about here today, that's restoration ecology and that's uh, coastal and marine management. Um, it's, they, they were first listed one way and now we've just gotten word that we've been approved from the chancellor's office to have some face-to-face -face sessions. So what that means is um, all of our lectures and the, and the main content stuff is still going to be in a virtual context, in, in an online context. Um, but both these classes, I, when I've taught them, I've historically had field trips associated with them and different activities. Um, and so that's what we've been given permission to do. So um, for restoration ecology, we'll do hopefully at least one. Uh, maybe two field trips to see some actual restoration sites. For coastal, um, hopefully um, our, our more extensive three-day trip up the coast and some more cool things and visits, etc. Uh, and so on your schedules, they, they, they might have been evolving if you've been looking at the registrar's office. That's what's going on. So again, the majority of our, of our content will be online, but we will have some face-to-face -face, uh, interaction. Now, that's to say, you can have those. If you guys have some health concerns, if you guys are worried, uh, you, don't, you don't feel good, or you can't do some of those face-to-face -face sessions, it's all good. You won't be penalized. If, if you can't engage in these field trips we'll be doing in the fall, um, uh, no penalty to you. Don't worry about it. But what I want to do today is one, just tell you that, tell you all things are good, thinking of you guys, hope everybody's staying safe, um, and, and that's what's going on. So some of our ESRM classes have been approved for this uh, 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 a bit of return to normal, a bit of face-to-face, -face, but not all. Um, and then secondly, as I'm thinking, as I'm crafting what's been, uh, how our fall will look, um, I wanted to reach out to you guys all today and ask you how your, how, the spring went. How th you know what? What did you think worked well? What didn't work well? Um, again, I haven't decided exactly how the fall is going to roll out, um, but I wanted to hear from you guys. I wanted to hear some of your experiences before I get too deep in the revisions, to really hear what's working for you, what what, what you thought worked for you, what you really hated, what what tools maybe you liked, which ones you didn't like, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm sending out to you guys this anonymous survey. So if you guys could fill that out in the next few days, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you've lost the email, whatever the link is in the bottom of uh, this video description, but. Um, know you guys are going to have a killer fall no matter how it evolves also think about doing some cool uh, virtual uh, happy hour things i'm not supposed to say happy hours because we're not supposed to have happy hours with students and things but but uh some fun things that we'll be doing um to hopefully break up some of the the monotony of the of the craziness of the spring online learning so okay i'm rambling on letting you guys know i'm thinking about you can't wait for fall uh looking forward to all the cool stuff that's going to be going on Please stay safe, wash your hands, wear your, uh, wear your safe distancing hats and masks and all that fun stuff. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody soon. You guys be good. Thanks, bye.